Let's take a look at that for a moment. The Bible identifies many causes of poverty. Now, we know some of the most common. Slothfulness, you know, indolence. Uh, there's a number of things. We've, we've mentioned those. How about this one, though? Proverbs 13, 23 tells us, Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that which is destroyed for lack of judgment. Tillage means land under cultivation. You can see you know, the farmer who's got his harvest there, and he's, he's uh, dealing with it, he's preparing it. This says that you can have a very productive man like this one appears to be. He's been productive. He hasn't been indolent. He's not slothful. But for lack of judgment, courts that are corrupt, instead of courts that are just and honest, courts that are corrupt can strip this man of his productive labor, make him poor. And Solomon wrote that. He noted that that had been, in fact, part of the landscape of Israel for the previous century. Solomon inherited a lot of that. His dad, David, had tried to stop that. Now, he writes this, a man that can work hard, but because of the courts and because of corrupt government, he loses much of it. He becomes impoverished. You can see the corruption on the side of corrupt judgment, briberies, etc. You see... It's not so easy. You can't just say, well, people are poor because they're lazy. The Bible doesn't countenance that. They might be. Proverbs 6, for example. But there are many other reasons, like inflation, for example. Inflation causes your parents to run on the, the treadmill of life faster and faster and faster until they can't keep up. It impoverishes them. It impoverishes us all. So understand, and that also by the way, is very much involved with that proverb. So as we study poverty, keep in mind there are many different causes. We're going to get into all those. We deal with the laws of human action and in economics.